Mal Mason, um, our coaching business women, alongside Danny Wood. Um, yeah, things are going, not going too bad at the minute, like. Okay, training night tonight then, um, and this is part of the thing. It's a, it's a professional setup here yeah. with the side, and is that what you're looking for as well to instill things like this? Monday? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, all these young girls coming through from, you know, from the uh, under 16, under 17s. We've got a few young girls playing for us, and I want to, we want to try and introduce them into a professional game. Get the professionalism into him, right? You know. Mm -hmm. So the Vikings then making progress this season. They've got some good results uh, recently. Yeah, I mean, we had a, a scrappy start. Um, we was unable to get onto the field, do a lot of field work um, because of venues uh, not available and things like that. Um, we've done a lot of gym work, a lot of strengthening work, um, but last few weeks we've been getting onto the field and doing some good stuff. You know. Um, some good conditioning, some good moves, and you know we, we've gone through a lot of decent plays, introducing different plays and that. Um, working more on defence, <clears throat> and it showed uh, last couple of games. We, you know, we, we won one and we drawn one. Could have easily won Sunday, but yeah, 18 hours, not too bad. Okay. What about the competition you're playing in as well? What, what, what have you seen from them? Is it a mixture of, of yeah. standards from different teams? Yeah, I mean, the first game of the season we played Sheffield. They, they came up from the league below, but it was a really well-drilled side and you wouldn't have thought that they'd just come up like, you know. Um, I think we went out a bit lax against them and, you know, and, and they did a number on us like. Um, standing left top of the league, we, we was only six points behind at half-time and, you know, we have playing really well dropped off in the second half uh, and then obviously we've, we've progressed now and we've, we've had a couple of good games. I'm sure Mal that all your players first and foremost they want to enjoy what they're doing it's got to be yeah, part, yeah. part of it as well yeah. but uh, also is, is there some sort of uh, as well uh, a challenge to, the, to themselves and to a team to, to, to make this, it's a witness Vikings brand, isn't it? And yeah, that's what they're yeah. carrying on the shirt to, yeah, to mean it. something to them. Of course it does. Yeah, I mean, a lot. Of, most of the girls love playing. Like you know, you get the odd nervous one. Um, certain players are nervous every week, don't want to go on, but once they're on, they enjoy it. Like you know, and we try and instill a bit of uh, enjoyment into the training as well as not not all just fitness and plays. Like you know, so. Yeah, and it's a summer of rugby in front of you then. So what about as a team? Have you, have you got anything as a collective goal or, you know, or ambitions that you're looking for? What would you like to see come the end of the season that you, you between you as a group that you will have yeah, established? I mean, a lot of the girls are, are looking forward to the rest of the season. We know we can do well with, with, with a bunch of girls that we've got. We've got some talented players, you know, uh, some young players. Um, some older players that have got more experience, and I think I think we'll do well. Um, I could say scratchy start, but I think we'll do well.